Okay, welcome back to another video. Uh, obviously, we had UCI tour last week in uh, Masterton. So thank you to everyone that supported all five of those videos that we posted on this channel. They've been doing really well, so I'm really happy to see that. So for Albert Copeland's 2021 season, obviously the first race of the year was that um, UCI tour, the New Zealand Cycle Classic. And then straight away, coming up seven days later, we have um, the UCI race also called the Gravel and Tar, which is probably one of the hardest races that we have on the calendar. So this year, it's a little bit different to the years that I've done it. Obviously, last year, I did the race, got up the first climb, First gravel sector, just massive pile up with me and like 10 other guys, so that was my race over. But yeah, for this year at Gravel and Time Pressure, it's 163k, has the same starting circuit, has the same in ending circuit, but in the middle it looks like there's like, it looks like there's like three or four gravel laps, that's going to be interesting. So anyway, the point of this video, I'm going to be driving the team car because our team staff are away this weekend. So yeah, I've taken over the role of team manager and then Josh Van Workham is going to be our mechanic. And obviously if you've ever run a team or been in the team car, a lot of work goes into it. So yeah, it's Thursday now, the race is on Saturday, but I'm already trying to get it ready, get it all organized. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to take you guys along and show you what I actually have to put in the team car because I haven't actually seen a lot of videos like this. There's actually a lot that goes into a team car, including obviously wheels, spare bikes, gels, nutrition, bottles like this. The amount of bottles that we give out the boys is actually outrageous. So yeah, I'm gonna walk you through setting up the car before we um, race on Saturday. Alright, so you may be wondering why in a gravel race, which is primarily gravel, I think it's like 50% gravel, 50% road, we wouldn't be using my ute, which obviously is more equipped for actually driving on the gravel rather than like a lowered beamer. <clears throat> if you go to the UCI guidelines for vehicles in a race convoy and you go to via section 2 page 8, <clears throat> the last thing on general rules for vehicles in a UCI race, make sure that your vehicle is not over 1.66 meters high. And this is well over 1.66 meters high, especially with that rooftop tent. So that is why we are going to be using the actual Copeland's team car. We've actually used this team car, I think we used it two years now at Cycle Classic. We used it a little bit at Tour of Southland, but because it's not a UCI race, we didn't actually put it in the convoy. We've used it at the Trust House race, we've used it at the Dynamo, so yeah, this is technically the actual Copeland's car, so this is what we're gonna be using on Saturday. So obviously an important part of any team car is having the bike racks on the roof. One of the reasons I think is why it's 1.66 meter raw, so that when you've got your spare bikes on the roof, you're obviously over like two meters by that point. You don't want to be any higher than that because when you're in a convoy, you can barely see over the cars in front of you as it is. The last thing you want in front of you is a massive van. You want to be able to see the riders as they're coming through the convoy or if they're coming back to feed or to change a tire or have their bike repaired or something. So yeah, on our Copeland's team car, we have all fork mounted um, bike racks. We've got two Thule ones or Thule or however you pronounce it. And we've got this one Yakima one in the middle. <clears throat> so the two on the outside are for rim brake bikes. And then we have an adapter in the middle here for um, the disc brake bikes because some of our team, about half of our team are on disc brakes now so yeah this setup actually seems to work pretty well i'll chuck a couple bikes up there now to show you what it's like Alright, so that's the first step. We've obviously got the bikes on the roof. I've got the Scott Foil and my Cannondale. We can obviously get another bike in the middle, but I don't actually own a disc brake bike, so I won't be able to put that up just for shows right now. But yeah, that's obviously where the bikes go, so we'll move on to the wheels now. Alright, so on to wheels. So in our team car, we obviously have the driver, the director sportif, and then the um, team mechanic sits in this seat here. So basically in the convoy when you're on the road, if a rider needs the mechanic to um, service their bike through the window, they can put that window down and they're on the left hand side. So obviously in New Zealand we drive on the left, so we want to stay as far left as possible when they're servicing a rider. So this is where the mechanic sits. So where I'm sitting here, from the center of this seat over here, we have a chili bin with um, spare bottles and this is where all the wheels go. All right, so we're gonna come back into the garage for the next bit. Now we're gonna go on to nutrition. So obviously like gels, bottles, we've got chili bins, we've got spare food and stuff. I haven't filled any bottles, I don't have any Cokes and I don't have any like after race drinks like chocolate milks or protein shakes. And you'll be surprised how much stuff I already have with me. So 
So obviously that is our chili bin. We usually run two of them. So that's the first one we have, the smaller one. We also have a bigger one, but I'm not entirely sure where that's gone. All right, moving on to gels. The majority of our gels we get from um, Kevin Lasky at Lasky Cycles, and, we, and we've been using SIS for about two seasons now. So we've got a big variety of gels. Obviously, the big popular one with the boys is the orange flavor here. Raspberry, um, vanilla, and a whole plethora of different flavors in there. We've got two half boxes. These are obviously from Cycle Classic, and then we've got two full boxes for this weekend as well. So we've got plenty of gels. We also use SIS for our um, powder and our drinks. So we've got a tropical flavor of the powder. We've got lemon, lime, and then we've got black currant as well. So we use all three of those. Everyone has a personal preference of that. My favorite, obviously, is the lemon and lime. I think that definitely tastes the best, especially when you're riding and you don't want something too heavy in your stomach. That really sits well with me, so that's my favorite. And then obviously you don't want to just be eating gels on the bike because they'll make you sick. So we've got a few snakes and stuff. But more importantly, we have a bag of um, actual like proper food. And this is very important on a long stage race because having gels for five days is just going to make you feel absolutely crook on the last day. So you have to make sure you actually eat proper food on the bike. So we've got these from Copeland's Bakeries. I'm pretty sure these have only just come out and they've been an absolute hit with the boys. Basically one of these bars is exactly what you need in like an hour to an hour and a half of a hard racing. So they're absolutely perfect on the bike and they fit into the back pockets really good. So yeah, see so we've got a few magic slices for this weekend. And then obviously in here we have a bit of lolly cake and a few brownies all wrapped up. I'll have to wrap up some more for this weekend, but that's what these are. So yeah, another thing on the team car, obviously this isn't a complete sign written team car. We've got the logo there. We've got the two logos on the back and the front window. These are actually stickers. So as you can see, these won't come off. But we've also got a logo on both the front doors and the hood. And these logos here, we just got these made up by one of the local companies. And this is actually just a magnet. So it comes straight off and you can just kind of place it down where you want it and it just magnetizes onto the car and it actually works really, really well. So yeah, as you can see, quite a lot goes into a team car. I have to get all of this in here and we've got two guys and sometimes you even have three guys actually in the team car at one time. So it can be a real, real tight squeeze. So yeah, that's just a small glimpse of what it takes to set up our team car. I think it's probably pretty similar between all the different teams in New Zealand. Obviously, we're only an elite team. We're not a Conti team. We're not a pro Conti team, and we're definitely not a world tour. Obviously, the world tour are a lot more equipped. We're using our own gear between all the riders, and we're running a small budget. So yeah, that's just a small glimpse into what we've got for Team Copeland. Now something a bit different but still in car relation, obviously, as you can see from my first video of the year, I brought this rooftop tent that's on my um, Colorado at the moment. Last time I used it was about a week and a bit ago and it was wet so I'm going to open that now and just kind of let it air because it's real windy at the moment and hopefully that will dry it out a little bit. So that's basically what the outside of the tent looks like. I still have to put up that A-pillar inside the tent, but you've got like these windows here and you put them up with these pegs and they just kind of stay up there the whole time. Yeah. All right, so this is a quick look inside the tent. So it has these bungees basically just to keep it together when you fold it down. So you take those off, push that out there, and then it just becomes way bigger. Oh, all right, that is basically all I have for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you, if you enjoyed learning about the um, Copeland's team car, I have an idea one day it would be really cool to get one of the subscribers from New Zealand to actually get to ride in one of the team cars, either for Tour of Southland if you're from the South Island, or maybe um, the New Zealand Cycle Classic if you're from the North Island. Let me know if you think that would be a good idea and you'd be interested in that. It is a really, really cool experience being in an actual UCI convoy. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't liked this video, please do that. It really helps out the channel. We're on our way to 15,000 subscribers. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already.